<laughs> you are welcome to another vlog. In case you don't know me, my name is Adedoin Abraham. And I'm very excited today, as you can tell. <laughs> For the past 10 months, I've gone to Dubai. I'm not applied. I think I applied almost a year ago. Went for biometrics for my Nigerian passport. And it's finally here, 10 months after biometrics. We thank Jehovah because it's not been easy. It's been a hassle. All the people that did biometrics with me have collected their passports. My husband that did five or six months hi. after me, he has collected his. Yes, hi. He has collected his passport. Only me. But the issue is to be fair. To be fair. The issue is. I'm trying to change my name, or rather, I was trying to change my name on my passport. And for some reason, when I changed my name on my NIN, obviously months before that, they say they have now separated the system. So the system in Nigeria has not picked up the fact that my name has now changed on my NIN. So when they put my NIN in Abuja, which is where they have to do the name change from, it's still showing my maiden name, or rather it was. So by the time they finally got back, that was after chasing it. The person that was on the number that they said you can chat with said, oh, that's what's causing the delay. I had to pay another extra fee to ensure that it was changed. After paying for NIN name change, to ensure that it was changed and to ensure, no, they say validated, to ensure it was validated. Sha, long story short, my passport is finally here. I, I don't know how I feel. I feel like tomorrow, I feel rich like Montenegro. Next tomorrow, you see me in Albania. I'm not lying, I'm not going anywhere. But I'm just so happy, honestly. And I did the 10-year one as well. Because I didn't want to have to go through this anytime soon again. Just look at that. <laughs> look at that. They had to call me yesterday. I'm so glad I picked up. They had to call me yesterday. Because my envelope, obviously I submitted it like 10 months ago. I'm sure they couldn't find it anymore. They had to call me to send my address so they can send my passport out to me because they didn't have my envelope anymore. I'm so excited. I love it. I love it. I don't even look like the passport photograph anymore. But finally, I have my passport in my married name, in my husband's name. My NIN is on there, and that should be correct, I think. And it expires in 2034. I have 64 pages. Do I me feel easy? Do I me feel easy? Come on. Come on. I'll see you in another clip. I'm making so many videos. At this point, I have like eight different unedited videos. I'm lazy. I have an exam coming up, so I don't even know when I'll get to editing. My sister is supposed to be helping me, but obviously she can't do it as well as I do it because who does it? Not lie. She's very lazy. She's busy as well. So I think when my mom gets here, Mommy, it'll probably be better and I'll have time to edit. But I have an exam coming up in like less than three months. But this passport, <laughs> come on, come on. Bye. You probably don't know from the continuity of this video, but I started this vlog a long time ago. I filmed like almost two or three complete vlogs after the last clip that you saw. And one of them is my trip to Bath, which I got back from today. But anyway, anyway, please, if you haven't already, I'm sure my trip to Bath vlog is up by now. Please watch it. I have a delivery from a brand called L Loxitan. <coughs> I promised myself this year that I'm going to buy everything I want. Well, obviously everything I want within reason. And I don't really want <laughs> big things. Most of the things I want, most of the things on my wish list are attainable things. But like I have things I've wanted for like one year. And cost like 18 pounds and I'm like, that makes no sense. So my promise to myself this year is whatever I want for myself, for my house, to make my life easier, to make my kitchen or my space look nicer, I'm going to get it. Hopefully I don't run into debt. But yeah, this is from L'Occitane. 
I've been seeing a lot of good reviews about their shower oils. So I ordered a few. If you watch my trip to bath vlog, you see that I also bought some extra things, even though this was delivered while I was on my trip. But yeah. So this is what I ordered. Uh, the sheer oil shower oil body shower oil sheer I already used this the travel size and then I got the almond shower oil as well yeah that's the almond shower oil I'm trying to take my body care more seriously this is the travel size almond oil Is left. Thank you for your order. So they gave me hand cream in like sachets, I think. That's what it's going to be. Oh, it's more than that. It's quite a few things. Overnight oil in serum. Youth cream. Milk, body milk concentrates. And shampoo. Yeah, that's quite a few things. Hi, good afternoon. It's another day, believe it or not. I'm wearing the same thing because I don't know how people just. It's winter, I don't have to explain it. Yeah, I'm wearing the same thing, but it's another day, I promise you. And I've had a beautiful day. I went on a trip, as I said in the last clip, last night, and the house was empty. It's not too dirty, but it's really, really empty. So, I've just done a restock. My account is is shaky. I've spent over three hundred pounds today, including money I used to top up my tank. But even then, the money that left my account today is over three hundred pounds. I thank God that I have that money to spend on things, but I need to I need to keep it in check. I know I said I promised myself this year I'll just be spending, but I need to keep it in check. But yeah. I'm just going to. I don't think I can film. This is everything I got. There's a full bag here. This is from the company shop. This is from Asda. What else? That's from the African shop. This is also from the company shop. This whole pack of corner yogurts was like two pounds something, two pounds eighty-five. And then I got a carton. Well, it's not exactly a carton, but was supposed to be a carton of turkey, 10 kg carton of turkey. Although they already prepared it, but he gave it to me at the price of the carton because I bought 10 kg was from the African store. I also got like the pack of water, the curriculum pack of water, which I already kept in the garage. And then there's extra stuff. I got like malt. I got these drinks from the company shop. Let me start drinking zero sugar drinks. Maybe that will help me. I already went to B&M in the morning. But I didn't film because I knew I had a lot to do today. I've been up since 7 a.m. I'm getting a migraine already. And it's already 1.30. I haven't had anything to eat today. I need to eat. Put all these things in their place. And pick my baby by 5.30 max. So I'm not sure I'll be able to film a lot. And even if I'm filming, I'm sure you'll be happy that. So hear that I won't be speaking to you. I'll just show myself putting away some of the things. My memory card is full. Just four minutes left on my memory card. <laughs> Just going to put all of this in their place now. Hi. I don't know if I should address the elephant in the There's no elephant. I made my hair. And I love it so much. It's not exactly what I wanted. It's not exactly how it looked in the picture, but I love it. I like it better than the picture now. 
in the picture I was going to do, there was supposed to be less of the weaving, so it was supposed to be here. But I spent, it's, it's quite long. It's like waist length. I spent almost eight hours making this here. So after some time, like enough braids, just let's just weave it and get it over with. I was going to talk about something else. My piercing. So I had a, I don't know what this place is called. It's not Helix. It's not Conch. I can't remember what it's called. Cha. I had a piercing here. I did it. I mean, it was about three months old. So that's about 15, 16 months ago. And the thing has refused to heal. And I kept winging it. I will remove it, let it rest, put it back. Well, last, is it two, three days ago now? I took it out because it was getting swollen and painful. And then when I pressed it, I saw something that looked like pus. I'm like, eh? So I just took it out for three days now. And it's healing. It's healing like a regular wound. I don't know how long it will take to heal. It closes up, it closes up. It's not worse an infection. My husband will not let me hear the end of it if it gets infected because he has been warning me since I did it. But yeah, I have a delivery from Space NK. I ordered, so basically, I registered for their membership when I went to Bath. If you haven't seen my Bath video, go and watch it. And apparently, for the first time or something, I got like a £10 voucher. As I said, watch my Bath video, it will make sense more. <laughs> This video will make sense more if you watch that video. But anyway, I got like the new so the Janeiro Janeiro. I don't know what it's called. Sha the new body butter, the purple one, and it smells absolutely delicious. Yeah, when you shop with them, you choose like two random complementary sizes of stuff that they offer. So I got two things. The Alexia Drench or something, I don't know what it's called, we'll see now. Yeah, the Alexia Drench Body Butter. This thing, I'm starting my collection of like body butters I love. And I feel like my display, his area is going to start struggling. But I don't care, it's so moisturizing as well and it smells amazing. I don't know how they came up with this formula, but they should keep doing it. Uh, so I have a travel size. I have this one. I feel like I end up giving my sister one. I can smell it already, and it smells good. Honestly, it smells so good. If you're into body butters, definitely get that. The other thing I got is Polar's Choice Exfoliating Liquid Thingy. So I already use it. I got one, but I got it quite a while ago. I got it. While I was pregnant, and my baby is now 19 months old, and apparently you're supposed to look at the this thing where they say how long it's supposed to last for after it's open, and it says 12 months, and I realize uh, I probably isn't doing much anymore. Well, I'm still going to finish it, but it's going to finish soon anyway, so I am restocking that i'm definitely going to be getting the new one this one is the bha liquid there's a new aha liquid that's supposed to be good to soap and i like the fact that this one is smaller the one i got from Paul, no wonder i was thinking about the price difference the one i used before is so big that's why it's lasted so long let me show you ah okay so it's almost twice the size i got this directly from polar stress because i just wanted to try i saw so many good reviews about it so i'm like let's try it and it's literally like twice the size i think this will be fine if it's going to last 12 months because i exfoliate maybe twice a week maybe three times so i don't think i need that much especially if i'm going to be getting the age my plan is to if i use this one today i'll use that one in two days, use this one again, so at the end of the day, it'll be like two or three times a week, depending on what week. But this one, as you can hear, is almost done. One or two uses, and this will be done. So that's all I got for now. Cleaners, as in they clean my room so well. And I already cleaned all my babies before they arrived. Yeah, the bathroom looks so nice. 
But everywhere looks, oh, this is sparkling. I love it. Sparkling. I already got the, the only one I don't like of all of them, I think, is the actual bonbon bomb cream. All the other ones, I love them. So I'm going to start. Anyway, this is supposed to be my husband's side of the, what's it called? But I don't care. I'm taking over. <laughs> I'm just going to rearrange my new skincare. I love it because I don't want anything too big anymore, so it fits nicely in this place. Um, I'm making a further sauce today, so I might show them. I think I should just change the channel, my bio to just recipe. Nobody follows me, just watch it. You don't need to follow it, it's what you want, but just watch if you enjoy watching someone making food, then just watch it. I think that's what I'm specializing in now. But yeah, that's it. I love my hair. Can you tell? It's much longer than I thought it would be. It's much longer than I usually would make it, but I love it. I think the cleaners are done now. They're talking to my sister, so I need to check what's happening. Good morning. Um, and it's currently the next day. I don't have anything to say. It's good to do fine hair. I just came here because I did fine hair. And I just wanted to show my hair again. I'm going to, I'm joking, I was going to talk about the fact that I'm going to work now. It's currently like 8.30. I'm in a new rotation posting and I'm in my psychiatric rotation. And my start time is now 9 o'clock, so I don't have to rush. My voice is not very great because I've not really spoken since I woke up. I don't speak to anybody. I'm not a morning person. I don't. In the morning, just forget me, just zero me out of the plans. When I'm ready to wake up, I'll wake up. So yeah, I'm going to work and I'm still not good enough. This is my fit of the day. Just pants and this. So I had this set came in like a pack of 10 or 12, three different sizes in three different shapes. So I saw a place where they said putting them together before they were all stacked. I'm sure you've seen it in a previous clip, but someone the video I watched, I think it was a Daisy's video, said it looks nice and when it's just with the lead. So I decided to try this yesterday. My lovely husband was like, are you suffering? I'm here for you. It's so nice. I love it so much. It's great, obviously. I don't even think you can appreciate it as much as I can. Let me, let me put it back and show it properly. This is everything. This is pack of ten. I like keeping these because I'm happy I do because the tomato paste mix. I don't know. I've, I've said it before that I like to mix my tomato paste because I learned it from Hilda's YouTube video, and I started mixing. I found another. Is it Gino? I think that's one of the difference. So in that jollof, this Gino party jollof. Can you see it? I mix Derika tomato paste and Gino tomato paste. And then I add this. So this is what I used to use with the regular ones. This jollof mix, tasty top. It's not perfect, but this is what I have at the moment. Doesn't look bad. Doesn't look perfect. Far from where I want it to be. So I've changed our food timetable because of a few reasons. I realized. On one of the days when we have pasta, my baby has the same thing as nursery and she gets bored. So she doesn't eat the more we make at home as well because she's had the same thing as nursery. And because... Why else did I change it? Yeah, I officially had a takeout to the full time table on one of the days. Because I can't cook every day. I'm getting, as I just said, I'm getting tired. I can't. In the mood. I'm terrified of burning out. I always catch myself before, like I've never experienced actual burnout because before it actually happens, I catch myself and I just ignore everything, damn everything. I'm just distressed. Problem is now I have a child and I don't think I can afford to do that, especially now that my mom isn't here because my sister is really doing her damage. I always say to her, 
I never thought she'd be able to do half of what she's doing now, so I can't put that burden on her. My husband is also working, he's tired. Everyone is doing their best, everyone is putting their weight, so it's, it's just trying to wing it till we have another adult to help take up some of the responsibilities, which is my mom taking up her grandchild. And then I can breathe for a bit, even though that will be closer to my exam, so I don't even know if I can actually breathe. I just give myself a few days and just... It's not going to mean I fail the exam. It's not that deep, but yeah, that's the plan. So, my yams on and I have bread at the bottom. So, I'm just going to make it. So I started making a sauce for grilled yam. It's basically so many things have happened that I didn't feel. We got our oven deep cleaned because there were like marks of things that drop on it that are not cleaned up immediately. So it started leaving like piling up, and by the time you reheat the oven, it just stuck. So we had that done. I can't believe I didn't film that, but basically I started making a palm oil sauce. For yam, that's been so good. Everyone loves it. I don't think I'll be filming the process of cooking because I'm not ginger. I said that it's entire. So when I'm done cooking, or maybe in the somewhere in the process, I'll show it. But yeah.